guys are doing well. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, if you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button. And thank you for all of the subscribes. I can't believe we hit the 30,000 30, mark. That is so awesome. So, 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 so excited. Um, yeah, so this is a Virgo channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And welcome everyone coming back. Everybody in the chat. Hello, um, this is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, so some of the messages may or may not resonate, just take what fits, leave the rest, and I'm running a special, if you want to get a personal reading with me, personal phone call reading, there's a link in the description box below this video, so definitely check that out, okay, um, yeah, Virgo, so let's see what the messages, the love messages are, what's going on here, what's the drama, what's the tea? This is, I'm recording this on December 12th, so we're going to take this reading from December 12th through January 12th, okay? A month ahead from the time you're listening up until that point, okay? Is that a card fly out? Oh, wow. Okay, you have kisses. Beautiful. Uh, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. Somebody is in love with you, Virgo. Whoa. This card just flew out. Wait, let's see. Nothing flipped over. So keep shuffling. Yeah, somebody here is falling in love with you. Wants to kiss you, Virgo. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. You have both. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Clo cl could be closure issues. So um, there's definitely movement here. Or somebody connected to a boat or traveling. Okay. The chaser. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. All right, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. So somebody's having extreme anxiety, okay, um, is fearful of losing you. And is, I feel like somebody here is um, like kind of in between, or, you know, moving on or coming in your direction. Okay, let's see. Why am I still shuffling? I feel like they want to get another card here for you, Virgo. What is going on here? Okay, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. All right, Virgo. Um, yeah, you've got somebody here showing up during this time period, and they're they're chasing. Maybe you are the runner, okay? But somebody here is chasing you down. Um, is in love with you or will be falling in love with you and I feel like um, this person might say to you that you know hey I'm gonna be coming your way um, I'm moving on from something you know um, maybe they're another relationship or some situationship of some sort getting out of a past kind of thing and moving away from that sailing Oh my goodness, sailing away. Going to a place they've always wanted to be, and I feel like that's with you. And this is like an epiphany that just hits this person, okay? With this lightning card, it's like the tower. This is like a sudden, like a shock, like, like they can't believe um, that this is what they will be experiencing okay it could be happening now for some of you but i feel like this lightning card you know going into this month this time period i feel like this person has like an epiphany about you okay maybe you don't even know them you could meet somebody maybe if you're traveling um during the holidays or if you're going to be on a boat you might connect with somebody okay um, somebody might be having a drink and then following that with a chaser as well. And it's kind of like, boom, uh, somebody gets those like <laughs> love hearts in the eyes about you. And it's, or maybe there's, you know, for some, it could be just you and another person sitting together, spending some time over the holidays, having some drinks and then, you know, feeling real kind of tipsy. And then the emotions start to come out. Okay. Let's get more into this reading. See what these messages are here. Okay, <clears throat> this person's in extreme conflict, Virgo, at this time, okay? Um, they might ha be having arguments with other people or another person. Um, there's aggression, um, clashing personality with somebody else, okay? Um, 
being defensive. There's some struggle. It could be, this person could be a Leo or they could be connecting with someone who's a Leo, but it feels to me like there's some conflict in this person's life right now, okay? Conflict in their life right now. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, this person's like, wow, soul searching. Could be thinking about you because that's the Virgo card here. Or you could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo um, specifically. But I feel like this person is um, in introspection right now. They, I feel like somebody, this person is having a conflict. Like I said, with another person, they've withdrawn. Okay, they've withdrawn from someone maybe a Leo, maybe a Virgo. Okay. This person is gone within. They're not talking. They're someone who um, escapes conflict. They don't like it. They run away from it. If somebody gives them a problem or if there's conflict or a struggle or argument, that kind of thing, and um, or disagreement, this person doesn't like to deal with disagreements or issues really. Like if there's in other words, if there's a, an opportunity to talk through things and work things out, yeah, they're fine. But if somebody comes at them or is um, fighting with them or is very temperamental or aggressive, this person just backs down. They, they back out. They, they, they disappear. And that's what I feel like the energy is with this person right now. And for some, this is something that this person may have been dealing with since September, so a couple months ago, a few months ago. Okay, so let's see what else is going on. Some of these names start with a K also. Okay, yeah, this person is breaking free from some type of conflict with another person or other people. The fool, definitely, um, could be Aquarius energy. This person is not interested in committing to the conflict or dealing with this person. So if you know who they are already, um, they're having like an epiphany, they're waking up, they're realizing that, you know, if this was a rebound relationship that they left and they went into this, this thing is, it's kind of like they're waking up and realizing, you know, that they are actually in love with you and they, they want to be in a more calmer situation. They don't want to be, I don't know if, even if you and this person had conflict i feel like they're kind of weighing it like the conflict with you is much better than the conflict with this person maybe they were connecting with an aquarius so i feel like this person is just walking away from whatever this is whatever this situation is that's happening in their life right now they're just they're not even dealing with it um it feels like they're just disappearing they're just taken off they're just done they're out they're leaving they don't want it. And I feel like this is something that they've been thinking about and also thinking about you. Let me get some clarifies, clar clarifies, clarification cards on, show me the hermit. Okay. Yeah. They're like, I, they don't want to commit to that person, whoever they're connecting with. They keep thinking about you. Um, there's some ghosting. Maybe you ghosted them or you disappeared on them. And this person is, there's scorpionic energy there. This person is like, Picking and choosing, uh, making a decision here, okay? Um, thinking about you, dreaming about you, um, wishful thinking. I feel like they're kind of up in fantasy land, but also, it's. I feel like this person is chasing, is going to be chasing after you. Even if you don't know this person, for those of you who you have no connection with someone right now, there's no one in your mind, you connect with this person during this time period, and I feel like, they're coming out of a relationship or they're coming out of something that was very conflicting. They've been in and out and back and forth with someone and they don't want this anymore. They're, they've gone in, they've, you know, really retreated. They've gone into self-isolation from this person or this conflict, whatever these issues, this fighting and these arguments. And they are, they're looking for the one. I just heard the one who is unlike all the others, someone special. And they don't know who that is, but I feel like they're, they, they're gonna connect with you and realize it's it's like, a, um, oh gosh, it's like I've met the one. So I feel like a lot of you are gonna connect with someone who's going to be like, wow, you, 
you're perfect for me. Like you, you're you're the one, not just in my heart, but in my head. There's something like you fit me. You're perfect for me. Okay, so this is either someone who's coming back in and they're having that epiphany, or you connect with someone new during this time period. Okay, somebody might have been born in 1990. Also, so let me see. Show me the fool. What is the fool energy here? Okay, they gave me a whole bunch of cards. So, yeah, there's Cupid's arrows here. Travel, travel on the travel card. Good news. So somebody's definitely coming in, rushing in, really quickly here. Okay, from being left out in the cold, or there's it'll be during a time when there's snow on the ground. I'm hearing this Emperor energy. We have Aries. There's Taurus. Sagittarius. Okay. Um, wow, this could be someone who is a parent as well. And or it's just someone who's coming in very stable, um, in a place of authority, a bit commanding. I don't feel like they are demanding, just commanding. Okay. So let me see here. For some of you, there's King of Swords here, their mental state very anxious okay very anxious but with the sun also very positive so i definitely feel like this person is going to be like i don't know they just said um they're in torment and they're trying to get in a much positive mindset at this time okay communicating positive mindset communicating um positive words thoughts with you and I feel like Virgo um this is a big chaser energy here so like I said whether you know this person or even if you don't their energy coming in is like heading towards you very quickly that's what the eight of wands is it's like fast hasty um sometime I'm feeling um maybe December 19th you might connect with someone so next Monday, you might hear from this person. They might be in a warm area, coming to a cold area, okay? Or in a cold area, going to a warm area. So wherever you are, whether you're in a cold area or a warm area, let me see here. How does this person, so is this someone that Virgo already knows? Okay, I have the death card. Scorpio energy. All right. And the devil. Okay. For some of you, this might have been someone you're in a toxic relationship with. Okay. There was a lot of toxic energy. And I feel like that's ended. Um, I'm hearing uh, they're telling me the address. Somebody's address 1315. Okay. Capricorn also. So there's unexpected change here. Yeah. And also. For some of you, there is definitely a bit of um, obsession. Somebody here is just secretly obsessed with you. They have mental health issues. <laughs> There's some, and I'm not laughing to say that that's funny. I'm just, it, it's weird how that came out for me here. I feel like this person is very dependent. They're very dependent. So these might be a little bit of some red flags here for you, Virgo. But, you know, I feel like, you know, the chaser in a codependent relationship, I feel like with the death card, there is a spiritual transformation. So I'm just hearing the connection that this person had with another person kind of mirrored back to them all of their negative behavior. And I feel like part of the epiphany that this person is having, having is, wow, now I know what, what Virgo felt like, okay? So if you connected with them before, now they, they've gotten their karma in some ways. I, I don't know if it's, I, I feel like the situation was meant to happen. Um, they were faced, they faced themselves in another person and all the conflict and struggles and maybe arguments or troubles that had taken place in your relationship with this person, if they rebounded, um, thinking at first that that was going to be like the saving grace for them, so they'd have to deal with whatever split happened, um, it actually backfired on them, okay? And they, and they, they got treated the way they were treating you. 
okay? So the death card is like spiritual transformation, new beginnings, letting go, and making changes, okay? So definitely coming after you for sure, um, but I like the death card being in there because that makes me feel like there's release of this toxic energy. I feel like somebody here is kind of like, hmm, well, I now understand what happened. I now understand um, that it wasn't all you. I now understand now somebody else is telling me the exact same thing or other people were saying the exact same things that Virgo was saying and I was blaming Virgo thinking Virgo was a crazy one, but actually it looks like I might have been, I, I might need to take accountability for, you know, my behavior in the, in the relationship now. And then for others with somebody meeting somebody new here, this is a lesson that this person has learned about themselves that they might share with you. You know, um, this might've been someone that got into a relationship with new people and always said their exes were crazy, right? Always pushing the blame off on somebody else. Whenever somebody does that, and that's a huge red flag, huge red flag. You meet somebody and they're like, all my exes were crazy. Or um, that one person was just completely nuts. I mean, you know, sometimes that happens, but if somebody stays in a relationship for a really long time with someone who's crazy, then that's two crazies in a relationship. Or if somebody is constantly getting into relationships with people, like I would be like, hang on a minute. All your exes were crazy. Well, why, why are you in relationships with crazy people? Like what's going, what's going on with you? Right. What's the deal there? Do you not know how to see red flags and walk away from them? Like, what's up? So I feel like this person might have just been that way. And they're kind of like in this place here where it's like, oh, OK, well, maybe they were crazy. But you know what? I think I might have been as well. So there's a bit of a waking up here happening, this transformation, these epiphanies. OK, let's see. What's this person going to what's their energy going to be towards Virgo here? Okay. Yeah. Letting go. They've reached their limit here. This person is um, deep self-analysis, um, looking deeper, moving on and going towards you. There's the tower, just like I said. Okay. Um, breaking everything down. Um, this person is going to come in. I feel Virgo. Um, Pisces. Scorpio, Aries, this person's going to come in with like no ego. Talk about lessons being learned here. Talk about an epiphany, a wake up call for this person. These are three major arcanas and then a moving away and a walking away from this chaos, destruction, um, mental health issues, um, releasing I mean, I feel like it's like a brand new, it's like a brand new person here. Okay. Um, wow. For some of you, this person is having this change is happening to them this week. Now they might not come in until later, but this week, this person is like, boom, 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 boom. Coming to terms with things with themselves. Definitely. Let's see. Okay, yeah, they're defeated. They're cutting off those people, places, and things. Whatever the situation was that they were involved in that was, um, you know, toxic. Um, or whatever the situation, or whoever the other people. I mean, it's a strong shutout. Big time with the Five of Swords here. Uh, they're not communicating with 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 whoever they were um, in this conflict with. They're done with it. They're walking away, and that's it. It's over. It's done. Not saying anything. They've surrendered. They're defeated, and um, they're self sabotaging this connection. They're just dumping somebody. Um, that's really not healthy, but I mean, at least have the conversation and let somebody know. But I feel like whoever they were connecting with is just like unreasonable. Not someone that they can have conversation, like reasonable conversation with, you know, um, because this person is just like, it feels very, either very competitive with them 
or they are, um, they're just, uh, they just seem very uncertain. They're out of alignment and consistent. Whoever they were connecting with, um, people, places, and things, all this chaos. Okay. So much chaos. Um, a, a big challenge. It's too much of a challenge. I'm hearing for them to have a conversation with them. They don't want this. They don't want the conflict. And it's a shame because, <laughs> I mean, it's not a shame, but I feel like this person thought that they were running away or getting away from whatever the conflicts were with you or in their life in general. And they ran, just ran right into another relationship without really understanding who the person was. Cause this person, they are a chaser. They, they get, they have a codependency issue. Okay. So they tend to manipulate relationships to fulfill their needs. But, you know, I feel like they don't realize that the other person is autonomous and has their own needs that need to be met. And the, the other person like was upsetting the apple cart for them. Um, they couldn't get their needs met because this person was demanding more and more from them and they ran away. But in this time, in this time period here, I see them recognizing these things about themselves. Okay. Cause it was just a repeat Rin, uh, wash, how does it go? <laughs> Wash, rinse, repeat. I feel like this person had a pattern of doing this in their relationships. Well, if this isn't going to work, I'm going to run to somebody else and it'll be brand new and it'll like start all over again and then everything will be great. And, you know, um, but then they realize that the other person is human and they have needs and wants and demands and things that, you know, to make the relationship work. And then your person here, uh, would leave and then run to somebody else or run back to you. However, and they may have done that with you or just in general all the time, but I'm seeing a wake up happening here. I'm seeing this person's like, Shh. oh my God. So yeah, they're coming in Virgo, but I feel like there's definitely, you know, if I just had minor arcana cards to explain the shift, um, I wouldn't bank too much on it, but because it's their major arcana cards, um, that's huge. Okay. And I feel like this person has this inner strength now to come from a place like no more self doubt because that codependency comes with self doubt, right? That's someone who's very insecure, but with strength in the upright. Um, okay. Somebody's birthday might be on the eighth the strength in the in the um the upright shows self-confidence um and overcoming self-doubt you know hold on i'm just looking at something yeah okay so i feel like before this person might have like abused their power they they felt disgraceful they were fearful they caused a lot of discord discord they self-sabotage relationships that kind of thing yeah, um, getting away from abusive behavior and standing more in their power. Aquarius, Leo energy here. All right, Virgo, let's take a look at you real quick. I want to see what your energy is here. So I would say sometime around the 19th um, or sometime next week, you may hear from somebody here coming back in, reaching out to you. Oh, goodness. Let me see here, your energy, Virgo. Okay. So you have the wheel of fortune. So, you know, your life looks good right now. Okay. Um, things are changing. There's a shift for sure. And you're going to feel this shift, destiny, change, karma, definitely a uh, cycle of life, switch, shift, change, upheaval, and a chance here. Okay. Wow. And you've got the knight of wands. So mm, Virgo, Hmm. See, I don't know. It seems to me like you're in a position right now where you're chasing after your passions and dreams. Are you just recognizing um, you might be feeling very sexy, um, open minded, free spirited? If not, that that shift is going to happen. OK, it might have already happened for some of you on the 10th, you know, but I feel like Virgo, you are um, putting your passions and your dreams um uh, your adventures, the things you want to do, being more adventurous and energetic at this time. 
uh, and being fearless and putting the plans, the wheels in motion here for you. This is a very favorable time for you, Virgo. You're looking very attractive. Um, and you have people who are um, drawn to your confidence or self-assuredness and your rebelliousness. <laughs> Some of you I know are holed up in your in your houses and you're not going out. Okay. Well, I feel like um, this energy will change going forward. Maybe even this person's coming in and saying the things that they're going to say to you. This might give you a, a bit of courage to make change in your life here. Okay. King of Wands. Some of you have um, an Aries. Could also be a Leo or a Sagittarius coming in hot and heavy. Okay. Or that you could be connecting with at this time. Um, this person's coming in definitely like they're really hot for you. <laughs> this person's like crazy hot for you, Virgo. Definitely. Um, there's so much travel energy here. Okay. Wow. And Virgo, um, your energy is kind of like, I regret to inform you, but I'm no longer interested. That's what I see is going on here. Okay. So if you have a connection with a Sagittarius or an Aries or... A Leo, you might be kind of like, nah, I don't think so. Um, this is not welcome. I don't want this connection with, you know, this fire sign. And for others, there is a fire sign who's kind of in loss or regret about losing you as well. Okay. But I see you also showing up too as the King of Wands, feminine or masculine energy, very optimistic and um, motivated, action-oriented. You're not sitting in your grief. You're done with it here. It looks like. Or you're just um, kind of doing this thing where you may, your emotions might be, uh, have you feeling sad or um, maybe you're dealing with some trauma or you have some bereavement going on or heartbreak. Um, but I feel like you're not letting that stop you because of all this fire energy. I feel like you're not letting a loss or your hopes that have been dashed. I feel like you're not letting it stop you. You're you're getting on the you're you're getting on the horse carriage as it rolls forward, and you're letting the wheels take you wherever you need to be. Like you're you're not. I don't see you being stagnant is what I'm tra trying to say going through this period. I don't see you being stagnant in your grief at all. You may just be feeling it and just recognize, okay, this is how I'm feeling, but I don't see you staying in it. Nope. Okay. Um, that heavy emotional Scorpio energy, which is deep and intense in your feelings. Um, yeah, you still have two cups behind you here. So I don't feel like you're giving up your hopes right? No, no, even if you're currently in this position right now where you're feeling sad or lost, I don't feel like you're, mm -mm. you're going to get some inspiration or you're connecting with someone who might be inspiring you to keep it moving, Virgo. Okay. Definitely. Yep. Keeping consistent, building, 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 working on your rep, your business, um, working on your money, staying committed and dedicated to the things that you normally do, which is good and gaining clarity. Like Virgo, you know what? If you're feeling down or sad about something or loss or there's grief, like it's, it's not going to last forever. Okay. You will come out of this. Definitely. Um, there will be some communication too, that you might say to somebody also, you know what? You betrayed me. Um, I don't know who this might be, but you were talking, you were talking ish on me. You were bad mouthing me. You know, you treated me like a doormat. I'm, I'm not a doormat. Okay. Um, yeah. And also you might say to somebody, well, truth hurts, doesn't it? Um, you've hit rock bottom. You got treated the way you treated me. And that was your karma. That has nothing to do with me. Everybody has their own, has karma, right? Everybody good or bad. And I feel like the clarity is that you also have hit rock bottom and 
you're the only way to go is up now so your at your energy looks good i feel like you might have someone in your life who's also giving you a lot of inspiration or um directing your path or showing you which way to go and you know kind of getting that spinning wheel that's stuck in the mud um putting a board under it so you can gain some traction and go forward. That's really what I feel like is happening here for you, whether that's a friend or a family member, um, or uh, maybe you're dating somebody at this time or connecting with somebody new that it's really giving you like um, a sense of like, you know, getting reorienting yourself back to yourself. Okay. Yep. And you're getting your, um, plans putting your plans in place you're looking at the um possibilities of what could be for yourself okay you're holding up that that mirror you're holding up the um the the shiny things the the bling bling i mean that is such a 2000 word but i see you kind of like you know what i can do this look at all the hope look at all the possibilities i can make this thing or these things happen in my life uh, yeah, I feel like you're coming into agreement with yourself. Okay, looking at your prospects, jumping in and going for it, seeing that you have an advantage and opportunities lying in wait and your investments and things that like, I just kind of, you know, just with the five of cups being there, like that's just the only little t caveat, I feel like that you're kind of like okay you're you're coming to the end of some type of situation or defeat or loss and um look at this i love it i just they just said they just said uh, a lot of gemini energy here too and virgo gemini and virgo which doesn't surprise me okay so here's that leo energy right here success victory winning having the advantage okay um, recognition, applause, maybe some fame or celebrity or having fans, well-wishers, supporters, back up on the horse, Virgo, okay? So I don't know if that energy is playing out because somebody's coming in and giving you um, the closure uh, or um, whether you need it or not. It could also just be that somebody is coming in and it might inspire you um to get out of a negative situation and you have hope again okay let me see what the hold on a second i feel like i'm missing some cards here yep it was okay messages of love for virgo virgo's messages of love okay wait Timing is not quite right. Okay. So whatever decision you're trying to make right now or that you have in your mind at this time, um, just wait a little bit before you do that because so, there's going to be some other things that come in. Okay. Retreat. Yeah. Wait. Just wait. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So you're not quite ready to move forward. Um, you don't have to like push something forward that. If you have, uh, there's an old saying, when in doubt, do nothing, okay? So you might just need to, I feel like this is more about you taking the lead um, in your life in, regard, in regards to a particular situation, love or health or career or whatever. Um, they're just saying just hold back, hold back a little bit. Maybe let somebody else take the lead in the situation. Okay, stability. A relationship can stand the test of time. Okay, that's good news. Let's see what else? What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. Okay, so you could be connecting with someone right now, Virgo, where there's a very strong chemistry between the two of you. There's an understanding. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. Okay. And an addiction is affecting this relationship. Okay. I want to see how somebody feels about you. We will be together again. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I know some of you are like, oh, no, we won't. Some of you are like, oh, yes, we will. I can't please all of you. My life is not as together as it seems. 
Yeah. And this person, whoever you have on your mind at this time, you're thinking about this person wants you. They hide behind material things, but they know they've messed up everything. Okay, and they feel you even though you and they are apart. And they wonder if you are happy without them. Virgo. Oh, okay. You speak to them through music, Virgo. They wish they could take back their words. <laughs> I don't know what words that those are. They told you they didn't love you or they weren't interested in you or they were moving on or they wanted to break up. They didn't want to see you anymore. Yeah, there's a lot of regret there. Yeah, because this person does love you. And that's what I feel like there's some type of an awakening in regards to that. Realizing um, that, I don't know, I just feel like the grass might not have been greener. Okay. For those of you that have a connection with this person from before, the grass was not greener. They tried to like water this grass on the other side, you know, um, but I just feel like something with the other person, um, there could be no growth. Let's see what the Chinese signs are. Okay, year of the rooster, year of the goat. Okay, year of the pig, year of the dragon. Oh, year of the rooster is here again, year of the horse. Year of the rat, year of the ox, and one more. Year of the horse again. Could be you, could be both of you, and year of the tiger, or none of you. So don't stress whatever the um, the outcome is here. Okay, let me just get a couple of romance angels messages here for you. What are the romance angels love messages for Virgo? Mm, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So somebody definitely has romantic feelings or will be having romantic feelings for you. Um, they believe you deserve real love. You are lovable, Virgo. And um, the situation is calling for you to have faith, trust, attraction. Also, you uh, attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So a lot of you, like I said, are you just... Being in a place of like joy and happiness in your life. You're not really stressing about anything. Um, and if you are, um, it's coming to an end about things here. Getting back up on the horse or just getting re reoriented and focused. Because I do feel like somebody is going to chase after you. Um, come in um, either because of a breakup and getting karma served to them on a silver platter and realizing that they really do love you, okay? Or this is somebody new who is like, boing, they've met the one, okay? So um, somebody's name has the letter G, okay? Oh, somebody is extremely like good looking GQ kind of energy GQ energy um, very handsome or very beautiful or it could be a, a female very handsome feminine energy okay let me see the end of challenging times and a welcome relief is coming okay uh, initial P okay we have an R um, initial A, somebody's name has an A, also an S, as in Sam, a V, as in Victor, okay, I'm just doing call signals, okay, we have the letter J, and, hmm, hmm. Okay, a U, that's interesting. And I'm also picking up someone's name it starts with the letter N, as in Nancy, or Nick, Nancy, Nick. Okay. Okay, we 
have Scorpio, Libra. Somebody might be on the cusp. Scorpio, Libra. We have November 8th. Somebody who's born in 1988. Um, Virgo energy, Leo. We have Leo Virgo energy, um, 1970. 1967 um somebody was born september 16th also the 17th um september 12th also 11th oh whoa look at that all three are standing up there right together okay we have taurus and somebody yep may 10th May 2nd, May 10th. Okay, September 20th, I'm picking up Pisces, Aries, Cancer. Okay, somebody is 30 years of age. Um, okay, they just told me 1983. And I, November 8th again is here. Um, September 5th, August 25th. Okay, interesting. And September 3rd, and somebody's born 1980. All right, you guys, a couple of charms, and then we're going to finish out your reading. And also, really quick, right, a couple of things, you guys. I My past couple of videos, I sounded like Alvin and the Chipmunks because I accidentally had it the speed Um had um I, I don't know what it's called it, i was trying to speed up the video a bit because it was super super long and i didn't want it to be like an hour and 15 minutes so i set the speed on it and i think it made my my it made my voice sound like a chipmunk <laughs> and i might do it again here now because actually when my videos get way too long um I tend to have a drop off, so I'm speeding it up a little bit. So it's still me. It's not my sister. It's not my kid, right? It's not my grandson doing the readings. It's still me. It's just sped up a little bit. So, okay. So we have a kitty cat here. Somebody might have a little kitty. Um, okay. There's a rose. You might be receiving a rose. Rose represents I love you, or there's the, the name Rose. And there's also a little el baby elephant here as well. So baby animals, I'm feeling. And also, um, and I keep getting this. Okay, I'm going to throw that away because we don't want that. Uh, there might be like a, a rose, I love you as well. So you might get a rose or a bouquet of roses from someone, or you might give them to someone, or someone t expresses their love. For you, um, somebody might, uh, there might be like, uh, I just heard, just got a new cat or a kitten. Okay, I'm not so sure. This elephant, this this makes me feel like somebody is from an area where there's elephants or has been to a zoo or is going to a zoo, but it's a baby elephant. So this makes me feel like um, I'm hearing, I remember when things were new. I remember when it was all brand new. Okay, I, I'm thinking about the times when life was easy, um, when we were both in our youth. I'm thinking about, um, because the elephant represents memories and also represents protection and kindness. So I do feel like someone is really just purring for you at this time or is thinking about these things. Maybe you're thinking about them. Um, Uh, okay, I was trying to see if I could intuit any other message here. They just said I needed to just pull one card here for you out of this deck. Hold on. What is this message? One card here. Okay. Wow. OMG. The twin soul. Twin flame soulmate. Communicate your love to the divine. Be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth as love was meant to be, it's time to reconcile. Wow, Virgo. Okay, I'm going to leave that there because that kind of, that just ended the reading right there. There's some kind of twin flame, twin soul, soulmate, uh, soul fire connection, um, soul flame situation going on here. Um, so, I'll leave it be. 
Again, if you want to get a, a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box. Please, please, please smash that subscribe button and put a like on the video so the algorithm picks it up and it keeps moving forward. And I will be back here tomorrow now that I'm feeling so much better. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys very soon. All right, take care.